Hey friends, this is Atif Opier. Well and welcome to the new update on SNM. In today's video, I would like to show you uh, this very huge resistance of SNM, and you can see recently we got rejected by this resistance of one dollar and eighty cents. And on the smaller time frame chart, recently it has broken down a short term support as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me here in the videos description I've shared and if you would like to check how my trading signals work then I've also shared the links for the previous trading signals report in the videos description you can just visit that report and for example if you would like to verify or check any trade then you just need to click that link for example this is the trading setup for SFP and when you will click on the link it will take you to the trading views chart and there is a play button available on the chart and you just need to click that play button like I'm just uh, doing right now and after playing this chart you can see how the price line moved up from the buying zone and rallied to the sell target zone now let me to take you to the SNM chart and this is the weekly time frame chart and here we can see that SNM had a very very powerful rally from uh, May 2022 up till this high of November 2022 it rallied more than 42,000 percent and from this low of uh, November up till this high of the same month of November it rallied uh, more than 9,000 percent and now we are having another correction move and the, after this correction move the price and again moved up and by the way here we had a long-term support at 89 cents and after breaking out this support uh, because it was working as a resistance after breaking it down now after breaking out this resistance the price line reached the next resistance of one dollar and eighty cents and now you can see it is again rejected by this long-term resistance previously you can see when we had this rally we got rejected by this resistance here then we had another rally we had a long spike but could not break it out and we had another move to the upside and again we got rejected by this resistance you can see this red candlestick and after this rejection we also broke down the next support of 89 cents as well this that was by the way a quite strong support previously this level had been breaking as a resistance here resistance here and when we had this rally you can see we got rejected by this resistance here and then we had another rally we got rejected by this resistance of 89 cents now it can again break as a strong support because previously it has been breaking as a strong resistance and if we take a look at the smaller time frame chart then recently after this rejection by one dollar and eighty cents the price line found another short-term support you can see when we uh, had this rally we were rejected by this resistance of one dollar and fifteen cents and after breaking it out it was breaking as a support we were having nice bounces uh, from the support but finally we have broken down the support and now it is getting accumulated uh, just below the support of one dollar and fifteen cents and here we have another support at one dollar and you can see that the price line is getting accumulated up the, above the support previously it was breaking as a, a resistance here and now you can see for the past several uh, hours it is breaking as support we had a bounce here we had another bounce here and at the same time SNM has also formed a small uh, falling wedge pattern as well by the way we are now on the hourly time frame chart previously we were watching here on the weekly time frame chart and this is the very small time frame chart hourly time frame chart and here we have uh, formed this uh, falling wedge pattern and you can see that the movement of the price line inside this falling wedge pattern is getting more and more squeezed therefore at any time it can break this pattern uh, even though it is a bullish bias pattern but it is also possible that it may continue its move to the downside in that in this uh, falling wedge pattern and after testing the support of 80 89 cents then it will break out uh, the resistance of this falling wedge now for example if the price line breaks down this falling wedge from from here then our target can be very low from here that is approximately at 60 cents that i'm not expecting because this is a very long term and strong support of 89 cents 
and for example if we will have a breakout from here uh, then our target can be here at the top of the wedge that will be again at one dollar and eighty cents in my point of view there is a probability that the price line may test the support of eighty nine cents therefore yeah, in order to save buy, we can wait for the price line to break out this downtrend line resistance on the hourly time frame chart. Then there will be a probability that it may again reach the resistance of $1.80. So this was the update so far. I hope that you have liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well and for more trading signals. You can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you and you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.